Hello, I'm James from Comptong, New York. This video is part 2, to deal with the difficult and confusing parts of the installation process of Thermaltake UX100, which was uploaded last year. It was the first time to appear in the low-cost RGB CPU cooler market and gained a lot of popularity. In fact, it has better performance than stock cooler by Intel or AMD and has RGB sync function so it was used for many budget RGB builds. As you know, this product is compatible with 5 volt RGB headers, and you can adjust the RGB lighting through the RGB program. Now, let's take a look at what many users have found difficult. When installing the cooler on the bracket, the tension of the metal bracket leaked too much during the heatsink, so it was not easy to latch the cooler by hand. It wasn't a simple touch and go session. Let's look at how to install Intel socket. First, insert the Intel plastic bracket and the fixing pin provided on the UX100 into the 1150 sockets hole and insert it into the motherboard. Put a plastic fixing pin on top of it and fix it firmly. Then hang the cooler's metal bracket from the short side and the other side with a screw. Next, let's install it on AMD's sockets. In the same way, hang the cooler's metal bracket from the short side, and the other side, with a screwdriver-like device, press the top, Hold the hook by hand, and hang it on the bracket. Make sure that both sides are firmly jammed. Now, when the cooler is complete, we will connect the RGB light connector to the 5V 3-pin ARGB header. It has two pin, one ground and the other D connector. Find the 5V 3-pin ARGB header, and insert the ground pin into the G pin, and then plug the D connector into the pin that says D. Next, plug the PWM connector into the motherboard CPU fan header. The latest motherboard that comes out these days is almost 4-pin PWM headers. Attach the connector well to the groove regardless of whether it is 3 pins or 4 pins. So, this is how we're all connected. I'll turn it on and check. 
Yes, I checked that fan is also spinning well and RGB light is coming in well. As you saw in part 1 video, download the sync program from your motherboard manufacturer's website to change the color of the RGB light. Thanks for watching.